This is Deputy Thomas Woodall again. I found a house in the suburbs and I managed to get it safe. There were a good bit of trees out back so I decided to use them to make planks board this place up. Hopefully it'll be enough to keep those things out. Or at least for a little bit. Now I'm going to take some of my newfound carpentry knowledge and I'm going to tie some of these logs together form a wall around the perimeter of my house. If I can get a wall up, I think I might be able to survive a whole lot easier here. Cleared out a lot of them from around the neighborhood, so I should be alright here. Things aren't looking too bad right now. Alright, that's it for this one. Thomas signing off. Greetings, it is I, Sniperman1109, and today we are back with another episode of Project Zomboid, Louisville Survival, with insane zombie populations. Last episode, we basically uh, barricaded our house, we fortified it, every single window has been barricaded. Now all that is left is to start creating some makeshift walls around our perimeter, which is what we're going to be doing this episode. So, without further ado, we're actually going to be coming over here. Uh, we, we got some wood over there. We're going to have to drive our car over there. We're going to chop a bunch of wood. I am kind of worried about zombie populations around here because, I mean, you seen last episode. It wasn't very good. And I kind of resolved the, the lag issue. It was actually a mod causing it. So, yeah. We're just going to go over there. We're going to hop in our vehicle. We're going to take our vehicle for a spin. And that's our new one. Oh, yeah. That's our new baby right there. We're going to take it for a spin. We're going to go over there and load as much wood as we can in it after we chop a bunch of trees down. We're going to transport them over. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a bunch of these zombies' clothing. And we're going to use their clothing as kind of like rope to tie all of our logs together to create a palisade around our house to kind of wall out the undead. All right. It appears we got some trouble heading our direction. There's a zombie right there. They've heard our vehicle. They're coming to investigate. And this fence is going to provide a great obstacle. And it's a perfect time for us to take advantage of the situation. Why are those trees rustling? Ah! Zombies in the trees. Excellent. I mean, now's the time. Now's as good a time as any to get the kind of get them out in the open, you know. So we don't they don't surprise us later. And there comes another one. At the top. I don't like this. We're just gonna run. Step back a little bit. Reassess the situation. Perfect. He goes down. She's down. Stomp him. Move on her so she doesn't get up. We're going to stomp her in. Hit him. So, Oh, he's dead. Do the spin. Alright, we got two slow ones coming. No big deal. Yeah, I was. that's why I said I was a little worried about zombie population. It's, it definitely appears they're still here. They're still causing mayhem. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this one off. And then we're going to finally start chopping wood, but I'm actually going to holler out to see if there's any more hiding in the trees. Go ahead and take this one out. Alright, she's really the only threat, but we need to go ahead and take out this crawler, and oh look, we got another guy coming over. Well, there's a bunch more here than I thought. Oh man, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Man, well this is a good thing we're getting them out here now. It's better that we do this now. There we go. There's that one. Run over here. Dead. Oh, you're kind of quick, lady. You're kind of quick. Fall over that fence. Alright, dead. Beautiful. Killed him through the fence. I know it's cheating, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, let's search all these zombies. Ooh, wait a minute. You, you have a lighter. I will take that. And then you have a digital watch. We already have one. We don't need any. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Well, I think, hopefully, that's it. We killed a lot of zombies just now. Uh, I'm going to actually start chopping some trees down, and hopefully, we don't get ambushed. I, I yelled out, so all the zombies that heard in the area definitely should have came to that. I'm going to do a little scouting. Yeah, I don't see any more. Let's go through the trees. We got a couple over here. Might as well take them out. They're going to hear the noise. Come on. I don't want... Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad I did that. Look. Somehow they didn't hear me scream. That's freaking insane. There's a lot. There's a lot more here than I thought. 
It's good that we're finding them now instead of, you know, while we're chopping down wood. Because, uh... This horde could have definitely... I mean, it still can take us down. But it's good to take them out now. Alright, we'll just keep doing this. Okay, they're starting to gang up. Time to create some distance. Okay. This fence is probably going to be our best option. I know when enough of them pour over it, we're going to have to abandon it. Crap. Okay, see? They, we can handle them now. A lot better than what we could have earlier. Sometimes you just got to use what you can. To your advantage. Look at your surroundings. Oh, we leveled up in something. I don't know what it was, but we did. Alright, he's down. Nice. Leather jacket. Okay, they're all dead. Well, we got another one. Slow one, no big deal. Now, if we had like a group of sprinters coming after us, that would definitely kill us. Big time. Okay. Here's some of the, the ones that were kind of struggling. The stragglers, if you will. Alright, we got more over here. The two they got left behind. Sir, could you just fall over? There we go. Excellent. What about you? Come on over here and get some. She's down. And she's dead. Okay. We got another horde over there, but I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about clearing them out of the woods over here. Do a little jog through the woods. Okay. I think we cleared as many as we could. I don't think there's any more near us that'll be giving us any problems, hopefully. That horde is way over there. So I'm going to be chopping some trees. I'm going to be definitely paying attention. See, it's so dangerous, you know, trying to do work here. But we got to do what we got to do. Okay, so considering our, our last axe broke, we're actually going to use what we have here. And we're going to start building some walls. I have a bunch of dirty rags and rip sheets that we're going to be using for rope because I, I went around and stripped some of the zombies naked as you can see and we're going to be using that as rope so it'll be great to build a wall. And now I will say full disclosure here at the very beginning our walls aren't going to look the greatest because we only have a limited amount of supplies and we're going to need to effectively try and use as much as we can uh, as soon as I build enough walls I'm actually going to go and try to find another axe so we're gonna go ahead and try to build our first wall uh, I think out I think right here will be fine will be a good start so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drop three planks or three logs here and there's freaking zombie bodies everywhere. look at the flies I mean they're, they're freaking everywhere we got a zombie over there on the street I had a couple out front but I went ahead and destroyed them so we're gonna go ahead and lay out some of these logs so we can build some walls. All right, construction has begun. We place our first log wall. There's another one. I love how I have them all laid out here. Oh, I didn't use those like I wanted it to. Now we're gonna have to go down there and grab them. I mean, at least it's a start. And I would like to eventually put a gate here and I kind of want this to be where our doorway is gonna be. So I guess we can skip that one because we can't really make a door until level three carpentry and we're not we're not quite there yet we're on our way but we're not there so i mean this is a good start at least we can save some we can save on some of the wood so we still got i guess we can technically say we still got two walls we can make and sadly i can only carry three logs at a time but hey i'm just glad that we're actually starting you know starting to build a little uh little defenses for ourselves we could definitely do it thomas will definitely feel a lot safer especially when it walls up like he already feels safe because of the barricaded windows but he's definitely going to feel safe knowing that he has walls surrounding the perimeter of his home eventually uh, you know we might uh, expand our walls and etc but that that's a long time away right now we're just trying to focus on uh, getting ourselves even established all right we're gonna finish up these last two walls Let's go ahead and place this one right here. And then I'm going to have to move the truck because it's in the way. Place that one. All right. <sighs> Get stuck behind the walls. Walk around or go through the seat. There we go. So, yeah. 
We're going to have to find an axe to continue our, our construction journey. Matter of fact, actually a trailer as well because we just can't carry that much wood with just a regular truck. We can't carry as much. If I can find a trailer while we're out looting, I definitely want a trailer for our truck. For sure. So, yeah, that built, that built us, a, a, you know, a few walls. I mean, it's, it's nothing great. But now we're going to go searching. Or actually, it's pretty late in the evening. We will probably go searching tomorrow for a trailer and an axe. All right, the next morning has come. It's kind of foggy out, but that's fine. Now we are off to go searching for a axe. And who knows what else? I mean, we're getting kind of low on food as well, so we're probably gonna have to search for that too, but, uh-oh. Yep, we're gonna go search for that stuff. Let's see. Where have we been on the map so far? So we've already looted these houses. We have not looted these. So you know what? We might as well just travel over here. I mean, it's not too far away. Eh, do we really even need the car? Yeah, I'd say we will. We'll drive it at least down the street. How about that? Park it right here. Alright. Thomas readies his lead pipe and he sees an infected sitting on the side of the house. It groans as it sees him approach. It goes to stand up and he hits it in the head, crushing its skull before it can get up. Okay. We have not been to this house yet. He tries the door. It's open. He steps in. Scanning his environment. Doesn't see anything so far. Ooh. Okay, okay. Leather gloves. Wearing that. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and search this home. I don't expect to... I mean, you never know. I mean, we can find a carpentry house, and that would be pretty amazing, actually. We're going to do a little house clearing. And these houses have garages, too. So, you know what? We might find us a axe or something better quicker than what we think so lug wrench a metal pipe okay not really anything we're needing exactly right now bread knife tongs no I'm good this stuff is useless to me food on the other hand that's not useless oh here we go all right is there anything in that paper bag there is. Oh my god. Burgers? Throw it all in the bag. We need food. Tortilla chips? Throw it all in the bag. It's weighing us down, but I don't care. We, we needed to make a food run because we were legitimately starting to run out of food at our house. Thomas realizes that, and he's like, man, that's the last thing we need. Bowl of soup. Fresh, uncooked. Yeah, I'm going to put a full bowl of soup in, in my backpack. That's, that totally won't make a mess. Minced meat and ice cream. We could use some meat and ice cream. Uh-oh, we're starting to get anxious. Let's smoke a cigarette. That'll fix it. Where are they? Right here in front of my face. Smoke one. He smokes He smokes while he che checks around the house for items. A biker jacket? No, we're good. Okay, well, this house has definitely been searched. So, we're going to go ahead and mark it off our map. And then on to the next one. All right, what does this house have to offer? Wow, this door's open, too. Let's close that. Hello? Is anyone in here? Another, oh, a metal bar, full condition. I like that. But I will come back for it in a second. We need to clear this house to make sure it's good. I like that bookshelf. Hopefully there's something interesting on that bookshelf that we could actually use. Hello, crop top. I don't think Thomas would look very good in a crop top, but hey, that's my opinion. Okay, let's... Have I, let's go ahead and eat, actually, because we're kind of hungry. Have I been throwing all this food? No, I haven't been throwing all the food in my inventory, thank God. Is anything else in here? Oh, yeah. Look at all that food. That That is broken. Maybe we shouldn't stand near that. All right. Look at all that food. Um, I want you to take it all. Besides the dog food, we don't need that. Okay, backpack is full. We're, we're good on food. Now our main goal is an axe, and this clearly this house doesn't have that. Let's check this bookshelf. Master farming, tailoring for beginners... Nah, I'm alright. I don't need that stuff. There's another freaking bookshelf in here. Ooh, how to use generators. Very good. Very good indeed. I'm glad we found that. That was really good. Good thing we checked this room. Why is there a bunch of clothes on the ground? Probably people were getting busy and then they passed away and became zombies. Okay. Alright. This house has definitely given us everything it needs to. Everything has got to... Oh, potato seeds. Oh, we almost... Oof. 
I want that. I'll come back for that. All right, on to the next house. Ooh, actually, whoa. We got three. They've spotted us. All right. Luckily, they're slow. I'm going to try to get this one. Yeah, come after me. Fast animation. Separate from your pallies. And now you're dead. Oh, boy. I almost spoke too soon. You get away from me. This battle's between me and this one. There, now it's dead, and now it's me and you. Dead. Okay. That could have went horrible. Never get too comfortable in Project Zomboid because it will freaking kill you. The second you do. Push vehicle. I don't think we have an empty gas can on us, do we? We do not, so we can't really get... Oh, no, we do. Sweet. Got any fuel? No. No fuel. This van looks relatively all right. And it doesn't have any fuel in it. Well, it's that sucks, but I mean, hey, whatever. It might have a key, and we can find more fuel. And then we know where this van is. Not seeing too much, too, mi too much zombie activity, which is very good. All right. CD... Whatever that is. Check the back of this van, see what it's got. No. Nothing that I need. Hello? And, oh good. Oh good, we got a house alarm. Not good. So, this our entire neighborhood's probably gonna be crawling with freaking zombies, and our house might get destroyed. Get in the car, hurry. We better go home. Shit. I'm panicked. Panic mode. Panic mode. I honestly don't have time to deal with you. Hopefully get stuck on the wall. You smart ass. Hurry up and die. Inside we go. Alright, we're gonna have to sit in here and wait for a few days. I just hope they don't get on that window there. And break our freaking window because, oh, if they do, that's going to be terrible. Just for safety, I might actually go in here to the bedroom and take some of these planks. Throw them up over it just in case. Okay, we threw up the planks. We should be safe. We're going to set in here. Thomas is very concerned. We're going to set in here and we're going to let the zombies calm down. Zombie situation kind of settle out there and see what happens. We got, we got movement. We got zombie activity outside. They're beating on one of the windows. I think it's coming from our bedroom. I'm hearing it. I don't want to go out there, but I do at the same time because we need to take care of this situation before it gets worse. But I don't want to draw a bunch near me if, if there's not a lot coming. We're going outside. Clearly the noise is coming from the back. Sounds like there's only one on the window. Okay, it's coming from the side. Oh boy. Yeah, we got one on the side. Ooh, crap. We got a bunch coming. We got a bunch coming this way. The fog is really, really, really making this worse than what it is. That house alarm. That house alarm did not do us any favors. Oh, my God. Because of that house alarm, we might... Oh, crap. Our weapon broke. I know I have another metal pipe in here somewhere. Oh shit, I don't. Oh my god. Well, hopefully this holds out. Luckily I've been leveling up our, our one-handed, our, our short blunt. Otherwise this freaking wooden cudgel will be useless. Lady? Gonna need you to cooperate. We definitely have, if we didn't have a zombie problem before, we definitely have one now. Oh, okay. I thought there were a lot more over here than I thought. Guess not. Alright, she's down. Alright, let's go over here and take care of this one. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not more, but I'm not wishing for more. Alright, let's sneak up behind this one. Okay, you knew we were here. Alright, she's down. Okay, now we're going to do a perimeter sweep to see if there's any more. So that side of the neighborhood, over there, is clearly untraversable now we cannot be going that way anymore so and oh look at that they're still going that way they're still freaking going that way which is actually good 
because that means this area over here is actually freed up. All right, you know what? What's going on here? All right. I tell you what. We're going to drop off some of our supplies, and we're probably going to settle down for the day and let the zombies continue to move throughout the night. Because I know they're not done. They're not done banging on our windows. And we're going to put all of our food away where it's supposed to be. And then tomorrow, we're going to go and we're going to loot uh, the other side of the neighborhood that has no zombies. Okay. So, I was going to settle down, but you won't believe this. The freaking helicopter decided to show up. On top of the house alarm, the helicopter is making the zombies go around. So we're definitely settling in for the night, and hopefully this helicopter doesn't completely destroy us. Um, there's no, I mean, it doesn't see us. I mean, we're inside, so it probably doesn't even realize we're here, I'm hoping. But you never know, so uh, I will definitely show you guys if something happens. Oh, God. We just had a zombie go in our house. Okay, guys, so there are... Oh my god, there are more zombies around our house than I thought. We're just gonna have to do this, unfortunately. A lot of zombies around our house here. This is the last thing I wanted to do. That I don't know why they just decided to suddenly hoard around our house. Like I don't know how they would have known we were in there, but they did. I heard a bunch of banging on our windows, and this is why. They're freaking everywhere. Alright, I had to do that to thin the herd a little bit, but they're freaking all over the place. I think the neighborhood we're in's ruined. Two freaking bad luck streaks in a row. What? Okay. Alright. It doesn't help that our character is already tired. What I'm going to have to do is... I, there was a crawler that crawled inside of our house. I don't know if it crawled out. I don't think it did. But we're going to have to do something about this situation. There's way too many. I'm hoping we can kill them. But I, I, our character is already tired. Oh, there's no way. There is no freaking way. There's too many. Oh, okay, cool. Those others didn't see me yet. Okay, I'm, I might be able to thin this herd, but I seriously doubt it. Let's just hop over this fence and use it as a as an obstacle. Nope. I, complete, I completely missed them all. Come on. Nope, not gonna work. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Okay, you're a little separated. Just please fall over. Please fall over. Uh-oh. Damn, we didn't kill it. Well, what it looks like is we're going to have to hop in our car and we're going to have to lead them away. It's the only thing I could think of. Round all the ones up in the neighborhood and lead them away. Yep, this is how it's going to... Oh my god, look at this. Our freaking base might be compromised. Our base is probably compromised. I don't know if we're going to be able to save it. We might have to freaking abandon all hope and just leave it. Alright, I'm going to need a little toot. Meep, meep. Follow me. A lot coming. Oh, we got a runner. Definitely want to kill that one. We cannot leave runners alive. There's another one there. Because if they stay alive, they could be causing a huge problem later on. I'm going to honk a bunch on this side of the on the, the side of the neighborhood. Hopefully lead them over. I'm just going to try to corral them. Look at how many are all. Oh, and there's a trailer right there. Oh, man. I want that trailer, but it's too risky. Too risky. I'm just going to try to corral them all this way. And then I'll just I'll go around. Try to make it back to our neighborhood that way. All right. We got two. We got two sprinters so far. All right. I'm going to make a bunch of noise. We got plenty of fuel, so we shouldn't run out of any. All right, here, we'll come over here and try to corral him out here. Take that sprinter out. Oh, man, and he's not crippled, is he? He's still up. He's still up. Oh, I'm trying not to hit him, but they're freaking all over the place. They're everywhere. Ah, literally, they are everywhere. Look at this. There's another sprinter. We got three sprinters in the horde that I can see right now. Oh, my. Four. 
Okay, it's definitely time to leave. There's another one down there. Oh my god. Alright. Now this is the part where we try to go back to the top of the neighborhood and hopefully we did something. And lured enough away. Well, we did something, I think. Oh my god. Nope. Back in the car. There's a sprinter right there. Dude, they're all coming this way. It doesn't even matter. Lady. We're just going to do this for you. You deserve a car death. Okay, good. The sprinter's down. Alright. Okay, we're just going to shut this down. It's just creating more noise. That's all it's doing. Come on. Do me just die before another sprinter shows up. You son of a bitch. Okay. Oh fuck. Get in! Oh my god. Dear helicopter pilot, fuck you! Okay, yeah, we have way more than there's there's supposed to be. Look, there's another sprinter! I knew another one was coming. Alright, let's just toot the horn. Oh, they're all over the road. They're all over the road. We can't even go this way anymore. So many. Holy shit. Oh my god. We're going to turn around. This is, this episode's gone to hell. This episode has gone to hell. We, there's no way we can go this way again. Did you see that freaking road? We're going to have to go around. Take another street. Here we go. We'll go this way. Try to spare our freaking vehicle. We'll honk it here. I mean, there's all they're all over the place at this point. I mean, they're freaking everywhere. There's another sprinter. Perfect. There's another one. We got a lot of sprinters in this mix. I'm glad they're not all coming after me like if I was on foot. Because I would definitely be dead that many at once. Wouldn't make it. Make a as much noise as we can to draw them this way. Okay, that's the last position they heard me at, so we're just going to do this. Look at that, they're all coming. We're going to make a huge loop, I mean a huge loop, try to go back to our base and see what it looks like. Hopefully we draw them away. I seriously doubt it, though. They're probably going to still be there. They're still going to be there, and our door's wide open. God knows how many zombies are inside our house. Fucking shit up. Have to find out. Nowhere in Louisville is safe. Like, this whole town is a death trap. Okay, what about a couple of these houses? Like, it, it appears. Oh shit! I it appears that this place is not as safe as what I thought it was. Time to start this and leave. Okay, how about this house? All right, our our dry our house is down this way. It's down this road. We're just gonna have to see. If it's safe. I mean, I kind of just want to stay in this house here. We could try it. Windows broken. Useless. Okay, we're actually right behind our house. Oh, and there's a zombie. If we could just stealth inside and stay inside our house for the night, we would be okay. But we got two zombies already right there they've probably already broken in too all right you know what we got a flashlight where is it perfect or some right there we're gonna need that actually oh shit turn on the fucking light oh my god this is fucking terrifying we got one outside okay We are so tired that we can't, we can hardly see anything. Alright, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to let him in. Hopefully, there's not too many out there. Damn it! Wrong door. Fuck you, you bastard. Okay, he's down. He's down. Hurriedly kill him. 
There it is. Alright. It sounds like... They're not beating on our shit? Or are they? I can't tell. I hope they're beating on another house. Because I gotta get some sleep. I mean, our bedroom is is barricaded pretty good. I mean, it's like a panic room at this point. So if they break in, we're just gonna have to... Deal with it. What? Hold on. They're beaten nearby. Where is that coming from? This window over here. I think. I can't see anything in here. Turn on the light! I don't know what they're beating on. Or what they're beating on, but... Hopefully whatever it is holds out. Overnight. Because... They're nearby doing something. I can't. I, I'm afraid to go out there because we're so tired. We're gonna have to get some sleep and hope and hope to God that they don't break in overnight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep in the bathroom. I don't trust anything right now. I'm sleeping on the floor. They broke in the back door. That was the back door. That's what that was. And we're still tired. Son of a bitch. Oh my God! They're in our room. Holy shit! What? I had four fucking planks on that window. Oh my god. Did they break in anywhere else? Well, we definitely got to rebarricade our window now. Oh my god. This episode has gone to hell. It is not good. We're still tired. Alright. Now our goal is to go outside and kill any zombies nearby. I mean, we're freaking exhausted. We don't have an option. And the top priority is to get that freaking window rebarricaded. Oh my god. How many is around? I know there was a couple back here. Okay. Window, our, our bedroom is no longer safe. So it appears they didn't mess anything up anywhere else. It's just our bedroom window that we were hearing it from. And I'm glad I, uh, I slept in the bathroom. That was a good choice. Lady, please do me a favor and fall over. Oh, thank God that crawler died. It was getting hairy there for a second. This has been a freaking wild ride. Oh, this... A freaking house alarm and a damn helicopter in the same episode? Come on, man. This game's got something against us. It sees us putting up walls. It's seeing us... It's seeing us be successful a little bit. And it's like, you know what? Let me just ruin his day. That's Project Zomboid for you. It don't, it, they don't want you. They don't want you to succeed. They want you to scrape and freaking work for everything. Everything you have. Which, you know, I mean, it's kind of accurate. I mean, in a zombie apocalypse, you motherfucker. Come on. Oh, my time. My time to move in. When you fall. Oh, no. Run. She's still alive. Bitch is still alive! Get there! Shit! Our only weapon. Dude, if another sprinter comes, we're fucked. There's a plank. Grab the plank. Grab the plank! God, Thomas! You think you grab it with more urgency? We need another weapon. ASAP. We have none. You know what? That was strange. We got some planks up here. We got a chance. Equip both hands. We're gonna need it. We've been training our short blunt, but I don't care. Whoa! Okay, let's bring this party away from that horde over there. So the last thing we need is them to join in. Alright, yeah, come over the fence. Come! Come on! Oh my, you can't win. You can't win in this game. All right. They're moving in. Thomas is exhausted, fighting tooth and nail to try to save him. what little what little house he has. I mean. Oh, come on now. There you, 
the plank is broken. Dude, I feel like we're definitely in a fight for our life here. Make or break. What? How? I was standing right there. How did that not hit him? Yeah, whatever. I'll grab another plank. No big whoop. Alright, hopefully I have time. Correction, hopefully I have time to grab another plank. Oh good, another zombie's coming in. Just what we needed. More zombies. Alright, come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up before someone sees you. Okay. Alright, you. Fall over the fence, please. Make this kill easy for me. Come on. Where are you going? I'm right here. Yes. Yes. No. You're not going to grab my ankles like that. He's dead. Thank God. Now you. Please. Please. Thank you. I'm hearing someone somewhere banging on my shit again. I'm hearing something. I'm hoping it's a crawler smacking on a fence. And not a zombie smacking on my walls. Or my windows, rather. There. Finally. I'm hearing it. I don't know where that sound's coming from, but we're gonna find out. Okay, we killed as many as we could. This has been pure mayhem. This is what that's been. They're in here, aren't they? They're in my fucking house! They're inside my house! Any of you in here? I knew it! Let's close this in case anyone's in there. You bitch. Yeah. Go ahead and die now. Thomas has a hell of a mess to clean up. Let's just say that. Thomas has a hell of a mess to clean up. Good God. Alright. Before anyone else... Oh, shit. As I spoke too soon. Fuck you. Spank your ass with this plank. Ugh. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. This is going to break. It's going to break. Okay. There it is. Last second. Son of a bitch. All right, we got to get this. First of all, we got to clean the gl the glass out of it, which I already did. All right, we're hopping through. Now, before any more fucking zombies show up, I'm going to get some planks on that thing so they stop coming into our house. For one, because we can't get anything done. And then two, we're already freaking, we're like, we're, we're beyond exhausted at this point. Thomas is extremely exhausted. I mean, at least we got to put up a few walls, right? At least we got to put up a few walls. This has just gone to hell. So fast. Alright. Hurry up. Barricade it quickly. Just slap it up before the crawler comes. Nice. There. That should at least keep him out. Okay. What is this zombie? Iron Ranger's boots. We already have a pair. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and grab another plank, though, because we're going to need one. All right, let's see. Oh, the crawler's right there. All right, well, we're going to use this plank to uh, squash his brains in. We've spent the majority of this episode killing freaking zombies. Like, it, I, like honestly, I had plans on getting a lot more done this time, but it, you know. You know how it works. Maybe we should have looted further away from our base. I don't know. Maybe. Because it's just been nothing but a freaking disaster zone around here. Alright, we're going to put these planks up over our windows. And get it barricaded again. Should have went done inside and out. And I can't believe that one zombie just freaking carved through all those planks in one night. That was insane. I did not expect that. Then again, I don't know if this matters, which I think it does. Whenever we put these planks up, we were like a level one. We were like... We had, like, no experience. So maybe now that we're putting them up, we got a little experience under our carpentry belts. Might actually be able to stay up a little longer, I'm hoping. Alright. There you go. Now, leave them up there this time. Okay, we got zombies out front. Which is not good, so I'm going to try to stealth run inside. 
because I know I got more weapons in here. Good grief. I thought we were going to die. I mean, we still might. I'm not going to speak too soon on that. We. St oh, great. No, I don't have any more weapons in here. I got a few in here, but it's just a gun. That's the last thing I need to do. Yeah. I got no more melee weapons. We're just going to have to, you know, we're just going to have to improvise, I guess. First, I'm going to rest up before we go back out there. That probably be a good idea. Oh, we're ridiculously tired. Okay, no, that went away. Good. We might just want to sleep, too, after that. You know what? Because I just... I, I don't... I can't... I can't bring myself to go to sleep now, because... Oh, my God! There's another one! Son of a bitch! Oh, well, good. They're coming in the front door. They're coming in the front door. Now we gotta go out the back. Son of a... Maybe at least we sneak around and get the jump on them. I don't know. You're fucking kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. This is a joke. Our front door's been broken. This house is ruined. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Fuck this game. We were bit. Oh, we were scratched. Oh. Get out. Oh. Over the fence! Go! That sprinter's coming! Get over the fence! Oh, wow, we scaled that great. Come here, you son of- There's two of them! Jesus Christ! Help me! Inside the house! Okay. Oh, my God. Oh! Close the damn door. There's no garage door. We still might die. Oh, shit! I don't know what that was, but <laughs> fucking zombies everywhere! Oh, my God! Why? They're everywhere! Alright, we're going out the window. Alright. Alright. Thomas is fleeing for his fucking life. All right, we're gonna circle around. The sprinters have, we hopefully lured them away from our house. We're bleeding. I need to get somewhere safe. Which, I mean, we're in Louisville. That's literally fucking nowhere. Oh my God, they're over there. I just want to get back home. But actually, no, wait. That reminds me, there is no home because they broke our damn door. I tell you what, I tell you what, we're gonna have to abandon our base. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no way fans are... We put up all this shit for nothing. Losing everything we have in one episode. Can you believe it? Where's our hat? Where's our hat? At least we can come back for our hat. And our safety goggles. Fuck this. Literally nothing we do anymore matters. Get in the car, Thomas! All right. We're going to have to freaking do something here. I'm willing to sacrifice this car to run every motherfucker out here over. I'm doing it. We have the... We have the... The freaking... The... The... Whatever. The red one that I actually like. This car... I mean... It's whatever. I'm willing to sacrifice it. To kill every zombie on this street. I'm done with it. Especially those sprinters. Matter of fact, you know what? We're going to go over there and take care of them right now, as a matter of fact. Because they're actually the most dangerous thing on this street. Come on, where are you bastards? Where are you? Where are they at? Oh, they're inside the house. They're all over the place. Never mind, that reminds me. Let me just back over you guys. Oh, here, there's one. Hey, how you doing? You hungry? Here, how's the taste of this rubber? How's this, how's this rubber taste? Tastes good? That's what I thought. Like I said, I'm willing to sacrifice this car. I'm not even concerned about it. Should have done this in the beginning. But I was trying to be tactical. I didn't want to sacrifice one of my vehicles. But you know what? I'm sacrificing one now because we might already be dead. We'll know very soon. I mean, if we survive. And even if we park this car in front of the door, or what was left of the door, 
it's not gonna matter. Really wish I could take a door off another house and put it on mine. That would be really cool. I don't know if I I don't know with with the hydrograph mod if I can do that. I'm gonna try it. After I kill these zombies, of course. Look at this shit. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. They're fucking everywhere. They just keep coming. It doesn't even matter. Alright, might as well corral them all up. This car. Oh, there's another one. There's the other sprinter. Take him out. For sure. Come on, car. Don't fail me now. Oh, my God. The car is dead. The car is down. The car is down. I think I can push it over. I just got to get him away from it. I definitely think I've pushed it over. I've pushed over vehicles before. I know it can happen. Yeah, get away from it, you son of a bitches. Get away from the car. All right, I'm going to hurly run over. I'm going to hurly run over and try to shove it over. I think it's possible. Nope. Push vehicle. Damn. I think it's toast. All right. Actually, guys, follow me. I hope there's not many in here. Here, this door will distract him for a minute. All right. Better idea. The red one's over here. I can use it to push the car over and then have them go away from it. Oh my god, we're so tired. We might just have... We're going to have to abandon this place. I mean, it's toast. And then we're going to have to see if we're going to be infected. Oh, which... Oh, we're bleeding again. I cut myself over the fence. Of course I did. That just... Insult to injury. I, I forgot to press... To stop pressing freaking... Shift. You're fucking joking me. You're kidding. You're kidding. Fall over already. What? We're gonna get we're gonna get surrounded. This is it, folks. I'm gonna go 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 inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What you got to say about that? All right. Well, you know what? This is a hopeless endeavor. We're leaving. We're leaving. We have to abandon our base and everything we had because all because of what a house alarm and a fucking helicopter were ruined because of those things all right we're gonna have to find someplace safe oh of course i crash i mean this neighborhood literally looks like there's nothing here but you know you know as i say that zombies all right All right, we're going to hurry up. Please, no alarm. No zombies. Please, close those curtains. We need a weapon. Immediately. Rolling pin? That'll work. Better than nothing. And we're sad and we're paranoid. This isn't good. I think we're going to die from this scratch. Up here. One of the doors. One of the doors is rattling. I don't know which one it is. I really don't want to open it. Whatever. Okay. Did they follow us all the way over here? Okay. Alright. I think they're in the apartment next door doing that. I hope. Well, whatever the case... I'm going to have to sit here now. I don't have any food, I don't think. I have no food on me. Good God, that was terrible. Well, this episode went completely south. I I thought, you know, we were going to make some progress. But we're not. 
So you know what? We're just going to pass out and see what happens. Thomas, exhausted from his day, just passes out on the bed. He comes in here and he passes out. He loses track of time. And he sleeps. He wakes up from a nightmare, remembering what happened the previous day. Alright, we're going to have to change our bandages because they're dirty. If we survive this scratch, it's going to be a freaking miracle. It's, it's going to be a miracle. I'm, 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 this episode, God, this episode went way worse than I thought it was going to. Yeah, they're next door. I'm not concerned about it. Yeah, bang all night. I don't care. Where is the sleep? Are we not tired? Alright, I'm going to attempt to go downstairs. Alright. After sleeping all that horror off, he puts on his cowboy hat. He puts on his safety goggles. And he prepares to go downstairs. They're inside our house. Somewhere. This bedroom's clear. They're downstairs. I think they are at our house now. Let's turn some of these lights down. Yeah, they're in the next door apartment. I'm gonna go ahead and barricade this window. Because why not? Throw one up. Matter of fact, we're actually going to disassemble all this furniture in here. And try to make it safe for us in here. Because this apartment, it's only got a few windows. So we could use some planks, for sure. Luckily, with some of the carpentry knowledge we've learned, we might be able to actually uh, get some wood and stuff like that, so we have a chance. So this place can be a little safe, at least. For how long, I don't know, but... I'd rather have some planks up than none. I mean, because all we have is thin panes of glass. That's the only thing that stands between us and the horde outside. And I'm not feeling that. They're in there. They're in our bathroom. So, you know what? I don't even need this. What we'll do is we'll kill whatever's in there and then we'll barricade that door. I don't even need that bathroom. Put that over the window. We're just going to kill what's in here. Alright. She's down. Okay. We'll keep that. We will just completely block out the bathroom. And we'll barricade, we'll barricade the door to the bathroom. Oh, no usable materials. Come on. This is what we needed the most. Okay. We failed. You have one plank to show for it. Alright. It's better than nothing, I guess. Well, at least there's a door there. We'll count that as a barricade. We'll slap another one up here. One more for the road. This actually, this area so far, looks clear. We might be able to regroup, gather ourselves. If we don't die, at least. This apartment's going to be our safe haven for now. Thomas is extremely depressed because of all the progress he lost. And he hopes to one day go back, grab his belongings, or possibly retake the area. But, that won't be happening anytime soon, and he realizes this. And he starts to settle into his new temporary home. So we're going to end the episode here, guys, on this really sad and depressing note. Um, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't die. I thought we were going to die this episode. I'm actually going to skip to the next to the next day and just to make sure we're not infected so I'm not giving you guys false hope for another episode. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, guys, so it appears that so far we are not infected and it looks like we've, we've made it. Let's take off this. See what happened. Oh, we're good. We're golden. We're not infected. Thank God. Anyway, guys. Next episode, we're going to actually loot this little neighborhood we're in. Let's actually get out the map and see where we are. So, we drove all the way up the street. Our home is here. 
or used to be home that is we drove all the way up the street and this little complex area doesn't appear to be too bad and i don't know what this building here is but i would like to investigate it because it's kind of big we might actually live here depending on how you know what how much stuff is there like how many zombies and how many windows because we don't need to find a place that's freaking humongous and try to take it over because we're just one man and that's a lot of place it's a lot of uh freaking windows we'd have to barricade we don't want to have to worry about that so we're going to check this out we're going to check out this little neighborhood see what it has to offer loot everything we can this is our new temporary home so anyway that's what we're going to do next episode and possibly try to find a new base nearby and reclaim some of the stuff that we left at our old house but i want to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed please snap that like button and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can see when i post more videos like this when you guys snap that like button that shows me that you like content like this so if you want to help me grow by snapping that like button throw my youtube my video out there in the youtube algorithms please do that and show your support by snapping that like button and if you'd like to support me financially and help me become a full-time youtuber you can do that by heading down to the description clicking my ko-fi link and you can support me over there and if you'd like to chat with me and others who support the channel and see well, you know my upload schedule and be up alerted when every single video is posted because I know some of you don't get alerted by YouTube's notifications. So if you definitely want to be notified every single time I post a video, join my Discord server. It is also in the description below. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Peace!